historically, great fights are because of great matchups. Different kind of fighters in a different kind of fight. This is the quintessential styles clash here tonight as Montequilla goes up against United States Olympian and walking badass Jeff Cobb. This is easily the toughest challenge to date for our Monte as he stands across the ring from Mr. Athletic himself. Jeff Cobb, born in Hawaii, amateur pro wrestler, Shapiro represented Guam in the 2004 Summer Olympics. An impressive pedigree, an Olympian, world-class athlete, and an all-around seemingly very positive guy. I don't get it, but it works for him, I guess. We've seen, we've seen wrestlers that have had the amateur wrestling background go on and do amazing things in the ring. You can talk about Kurt Angle. You can talk about some of those other guys as well. You can talk about the other Olympians. Ken Patera, another Olympian that has talk, come on into professional wrestling. You can talk about Chad Gable. You can talk about Danny Hodge. You can talk about the Iron Sheik. Jack Swagger. Jack, Jack, yeah, Jake Hager as well, competing now in Bellator and in MLW. The, the transition from amateur catches catch can Greco-Roman style wrestling to professional wrestling. There's a bit of a learning curve, but a natural like a Kurt Angle, Danny Hodge, or Jeff Cobb. You notice it and you can see that, that transition, that smooth as silk ability inside that ring. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. What a moment here. First time ever inside a House of Glory ring for Jeff, Jeff Cobb. As the guys were saying, transitioned into pro wrestling in 2009, worked for PWG Progress, and even had a cup of coffee with Michael Elgin in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Was in the World Grand... Was in the Tag League last year. Shapiro, what does Monte have to do to win this match against Jeff Cobb? Because you know Jeff Cobb is going to have Monte Grounded. He's gonna try to have to work on the stamina of Jeff Cobb. He's gonna try to have to gas him. Is that even possible? Well, we've got to see. This is not the way you're gonna win over Jeff Cobb. Monte may be trying to throw Jeff Cobb off his game tonight with the theatrics. He's a man in a butter outfit who thinks he's a superhero. He's not a mentally well individual. You may not think so, Shapiro, but Monte has had a very impressive last six months in House of Glory. There's no dispute. Ever since he split from Caveman. There's no disputing that. No, they, they weren't split. They were broken up by who? I'm sorry, That's I'm sorry. right, I'm Matthew sorry. Ryan Shapiro. I'm you're welcome. Sorry. Yes, you so Montekia owes this match to me. I feel like if he wins, I get a percentage of the purse. Oh, is that right? Yeah, you know what? Just if, like you ruined that young man's career earlier. Really. Ruined? I made him famous. Monte uttering exactly what we're all thinking. Jeff Cobb, a impressive human being. Steve Carell's rolling in his grave. And we're still waiting for the first punch to be thrown here. Monte, like I said, maybe taking Jeff Cobb off his game here. And here we go. Bring around the Rosie. Monte's got the speed. Running laps around Jeff Cobb. It's and now Monte's under the ring. Taking the page out of Jerry the King Lawler's playbook. Here's Monte. Well, the key to this match, I said it earlier, was try to wear on the stamina of Jeff Cobb. And Monte's doing that in a way that is quintessentially this idiot.
Turn around, Monte. Turn around. Punch him in the face. Please, for the love of God, punch him in the face. Got a man up sometime. Almost ran over our camera person. He probably deserved it. Does Monte, does Monte really want to test the strength of Mr. Athletic Jeff Cobb? He may be the dumbest man in House of Glory, and that's really hard because I have to sit in between you, waste of space. Thank you, Shapiro. Thank you for the lovely compliment, as always. Mm. Love working with you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like and if Garbage is wearing an orange shirt. <laughs> Here we go, Monte. Looking to lift Jeff Cobb, he can't even get one leg off the mat. I promise I have superpowers. He has superpowers, Shapiro, you hear him. He also told me earlier he had a bridge he wanted to sell me. Here we go. That's a start. He did move him this time. He lifted him. He lifted him. Yeah, and in 15,000 years, the Grand Canyon's going to move another foot. That doesn't really matter. This is where Monte Spear is going to come into play. He got caught. Mr. Athletic caught him. Throwing him around like a rag doll here. He's flipping him like a pat of butter and a frying pan. And now he's doing squats with Monte and a side suplex to the pleasure of this Elks Lodge crowd. And just like the House of Glory faithful, as soon as one of their favorites does something stupid, they go root for the other guy. Oh my God, I think I felt it over here. I don't know what you guys felt. Ow. My chest is red after that. Guys, I think I just got a text from Ric Flair saying he felt that. <laughs> that was a chop that made me want to change religions. Oh my God. I think my shirt just turned the same color as Ben's shirt after that one. Jeff Cobb now just toying with Monte. Monte says he has superpowers. He better start using them now. And he hurt his own hand, Shapiro, on Jeff Cobb's enormous chest. He hit a wall. He literally hit a wall. I think Jeff Cobb is welcoming another one. And down come the straps. so happy in my life as I am right now. Jeff Cobb now in complete control. I don't know what to say, ladies and gentlemen. Monte. A lot of fans just got PTSD and thought it was a chancleta and not a hand. <laughs> Unbelievable here at fair warning. Big kick to the face there. Rock Jeff Cobb momentarily. Monte up to the top. Look at that, Shapiro catches him in a vertical suplex, runs him into the top turnbuckle, and then slams him to the canvas. A la another great amateur wrestler, Dr. Death, Steve Williams, come out, could be, should be. No. I don't think the Elks Lodge wanted a three count either. I think they're loving this one, two. This is actually very smart of Jeff Cobb. Wearing out Monte, look at that. Standing mood salt. For a man that size, Shapiro at 260 pounds, my God. That human fire hydrant just did a moon salt. Unbelievable. Guys that big are not supposed to be able to move like that. Jeff Cobb, athletic, 
freaky. Oh my God, right to the breadbasket. You're not gonna see that at the Olympics. And another knife edge chop. Isolating the legs. Cobb looking at the time. What time is it? Look at the power, oh my God. Jeff Cobb has Monte up in a vertical position. Vertical suplex position here. He's cradling him like a baby. Up over his head now. I think the, move, the ring moved about 10 inches on that one. Cover. Lackadaisical cover there, Shapiro Cobb. A little cocky, even though he's in control. He suplexed the man to Passaic. How did he kick out of that? I don't he's know. He's got superpowers. <laughs> he said it himself. How superpowers seem to be coming into play here. European uppercut by Jeff Cobb, Monte rocked, Irish whip. Monte talks that clothesline, and another one. Tilt a world, DDT by Monte! It's exactly what he needed to do to create some separation here. But he's down, both men are down. That might have taken as much out of Monte as it did Jeff Cobb. Monte reaching for the skies. Cobb rubbing his head, trying to get all the cobwebs out. Monte now on the outside, standing on the ring apron. That equilibrium might be affected at Jeff Cobb's. Cobb follows through, Monte rolls over. Another clothesline attempt, missed. Springboard. Will Barrel, arm drag, nicely done by Monte. Able to use Cobb's inertia against him. Wow! Jeff Cobb went to throw Monte in the air. Monte quick with that reversal, using that speed to his advantage, Shapiro. Crucifix! Oh my God, a heartbeat away from pulling off the upset of the year. That was desperation, pure power, whatever you call it. Jeff Cobb found a way to kick out of that one. Monte seems to have an opening here. He needs to keep on the offensive attack, whatever that may be. Our resident Lucha, Monte. Are those superpowers gonna come into play here? Can he lift Mr. Athletic up? Oh my God! Not quite. Oh my God. Good night! A flying European uppercut. That wasn't just Europe, that was an archipelago. That was Pangea. Look at the power! Okay. One, two, okay. no! Shapiro, he pulled him out of the corner and caught him into a side suplex. He, I've never seen that in my entire life. He threw him and then he hurt him and somehow I've, I've lost the ability to use polysyllabic words. Ladies and gentlemen, even Jeff Cobb is leaving my commentary partner speechless. How is Monte even able to stand right now? I don't know, Ben. Another knife edge shot. A little bit of a headbutt on that, too. Those are gonna be hurting in the morning, believe me. Throwing his whole body into it. Cobb now places Monte on the top turnbuckle. Referee's telling him to bring him down, and Jeff Cobb says he'll bring him down. Don't worry about it. He's gonna do more than bring him down. I think he's gonna take the entire borough of Queens with him. Cobb hit a beautiful vertical suplex before. And Monte's trying to fight out of this one so it doesn't happen again. Winding up here. Big shot. Cobb rocked. Dazed. Monte up. Went for that blockbuster neck break, but he turns it into a stunner. He's got a cover. Cobb at the last second got 
got that left shoulder up. Neither man will quit. Neither man will yield. Conte did everything he could. He hooked the leg, but Jeff Cobb, too much fight left in, left in Mr. Athletic. Tonight is a fair warning for anybody walking into the House of Glory locker room that Monte is seemingly no, not a person to be trifled with. Monte now winding up. Up and over, lands on the apron. Big right hand. Springboard. Went for Harikarana. Tour of the Islands!